um, you know, whenever you set up a patent strategy, of course, you're not every one of those patents is going to be commercialized and is going to make a lot of money is going to be used. Um, you set up a defensive strategy by having a multitude of patents that are around a certain technology. And I believe this is basically um, the strategy of a lot of these Chinese companies. But, um, you know, to uh, take a step back, the rapid advancement in uh, generative AI patents out of China really is a uh, result of the commitment of a centralized policy of the Chinese government in conjunction with, um, with industry um, to essentially move into this AI field and force. Um, and, um, you know, these companies uh, have shown to be extremely resilient despite the U.S. sanctions that have been um, imposed and despite the um, shortage of AI chips. And then, uh, you know, certainly um, despite, I think, the next challenges that are going to be coming up with uh, uh, scarcity of power to uh, supply power to a lot of these uh, um, AI data centers uh, that are um, essentially processing uh, processing this data.